Hey gang, the new motor firmware is out for the Kingsong 16X. Um, and so we're going to update that now and go through the steps. Um, I brought my furry co-host and one that we are house sitting. His, her name is Sequoia. Um, so hopefully they don't get too much in the way, but they're going to howl or do something otherwise. So the first step I've been told is to make sure that this is flat. All right, so I've got a good charge on it, obviously, but I've also been told that the update only works when the wheel is lying flat. And I have also been cautioned that um, I should make sure that the phone doesn't go into landscape mode or into sleep mode while it's updating, and that I should it should remain close. So I'm recording the screen um, here as I as I do this update and uh, all right so we're connected um, uh, let's go find out about firmware update hello Majon <laughs> so we're checking for firmware update we're at version 1.01 .01. The latest is 105. It's found it. Um, we're going to click the update firmware button. And of course, I'm going to keep the phone hello <laughs> um, upright and open while this is going on and close by. And I'm sure this will be terribly, terribly exciting TV. This is why the furry co hosts are, are here on the side. <laughs> Um, this little guy, he came with an interesting feature. He only kisses you on the lips because apparently that's where lips go and he came that way as a puppy when we rescued him. So he is desperately trying to get to my lips to kiss me as opposed to anywhere else. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that other than smart dog and otherwise. So it's detecting. It says upgrade the firmware. I'm pretty sure I hit the button, so it's still detecting. Um, the current one is the latest version. I know it. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to hit the upgrade button again and try one more time. I think it's because maybe I hit the upgrade button after it was detecting. Um, hey. If it times out again, I will try something different. I guess the good news is if I'm making mistakes here, uh, hopefully you're not making mistakes. Um, there's no indication that it's actually doing anything. Oh, there's a little spinning, spinning deal. Okay. Current firmware information, firmware upgrade instructions, lay the wheel flat on the ground, upgrade the firmware using the app, place the wheel upright and a horizontal calibration before riding. Uh, 105, please don't eat that. Um, and now you can see it says the current one is the latest one. I know it, so let me hit that. Um, less abrupt speed limiting and the pedal tilt. LED lights are now off while charging. <coughs> Speed display in the app is improved. Um, three different riding modes fixed. Unlock the top speed at 50 kilometers per hour after 10 kilometers. So everyone who told me that the feature of the uh, thing had been changed, there it is official in the firmware. It still existed. Suck it, Trebek. Um, <laughs> it's a reference to Saturday Night Live. It's an old one of Sean Connery and what have you. Anyway. Um, 104 is also listed here, and 104 is a new system framework, reduce CPU usage by optimizing the system efficiency, um, improved motor control algorithms, improved stability during high-speed rides, accelerating, braking, and tuning. Also, the motor runs more quietly. Optimize temperature control, more endurance when climbing hills. Power cycling is no longer necessary after horizontal calibration. I'm going to take a screenshot of that just because. All right. So that's the list of things. Um, it is, so go ahead, move. Come here, V. <laughs> so 
So it is upgrading while I was reading that, just in case you're wondering. We're at 40 something, 41% right now in climbing. Um, so, hey Sequoia, come here girl. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a big girl. You're huge like a sequoia tree. That's why they named you that. Yes, you're also a rescue. All three of the dogs are rescues. This one is two. That one is, Chivas is 12 now, and Sequoia is also two. So we're at 56%. And uh, <laughs> let me see, what else can I say about this? Um, I don't say it often enough, but I really do like this wheel a lot. I mean, I focus on the problems because the problems need to be fixed. But please don't think that because I'm picking on some minor issues um, that I don't like the wheel, because I really do like the wheel. If I didn't like the wheel, I would tell you right away and I would sell it. Um, also, there's been a lot of discussion about the stock tire versus the non-stock tire. And I happen to like the tire. I don't know if it's responsible for the wobbles or not. Hopefully the firmware fix is going to tell us that when I do some writing. If they're still there and it takes a tire change to fix the wobbles, then I would go that way because the wobbles are a safety issue. But this feels like a perfectly fine tire to me. I don't know what the big deal is about the gyro. Um, yeah, it's there, but so what? You're complaining about uh, a tire that's trying to try to keep you upright and make sure that you intend to turn? Whatever. Um, okay, so it's now searching the device. It could be because I'm a heavier rider, I just don't know or care, or maybe I enjoy it. But um, I feel pretty good about this darn tire. Um, what I don't like is that the, uh, the tread is large enough that it picks up the rocks when I ride. Um, but in general, I think it's, a, it's probably a good all-terrain kind of tire. Um, good for mud and water, looking at the tread. I'm going to search the device. Found it. It's trying to, oh, it's trying to connect. Um, let me turn it on. All right, we are reconnected. And it's beeping at us. I assume because it needs a horizontal calibration. So I'm going to use the... All right, no idea what's going on there. That doesn't look fun. But we are going to go to horizontal calibration. Going to confirm. Let me get this as level as I can. Um, let me go get my torpedo level. I'll be right back. That is exactly on the bubble, across the section, exactly on the bubble this way. We're good. Turn it on. I hope. All right. So on the bubble, exactly where it is. Bluetooth is connected. Bluetooth is connected. We have horizontally calibrated. Um, the wheel is not locked, which is good news. We're going to go to firmware and upgrade and just confirm. 105, it shows 105. Um, the speed settings have been re reset, so I'm going to go ahead and um, set them where I want them. Oh yeah, the new speed limit is now 37 miles an hour. 
Holy smokes. I'm going to set the warping at 30, 31. Um, I don't need that kind of speed. <laughs> uh, my first warning, uh, third warning, so I'm going 0, 0, 27, 31. This is for me. Um, I like to cruise between 18 and 21 miles an hour normally, but having a little extra speed to pass and do things without being told to slow down is kind of wonderful. On the other hand, if I lose track and get to 27, that's really too much, right? So I hit the confirm button, and the warping speed changed down to 12 miles an hour. So we're going to go ahead and bump that back up to, say, 30 and try again. Hit the confirm. This time it stayed. <laughs> um, I'm sure they're going to tell me that that didn't happen, but I am hopefully recording. So, um, you know, back and confirm that one more time. It looks like I read the right numbers. All right, now let's see about the battery. So the battery is still reporting at 100% um, on the app. That is the update. Uh, I'll take it out and write it and see what happens at some point, but I'm going to upload the video as it is.